Hi there, YouTubers. Today we're going to talk about Aztec Ho or Axe Money right after this. So here I have three examples of Aztec Ho money or Axe money, depending on what tool you think it looks most like. Uh, the Spanish called them tajaderos, chopping knives, um, and they were used in Western Mexico as currency. Whether the Aztecs used them or not is up for some debate, but they've you know, been attributed to the Aztecs over time, even though these actually um, started use as currency um, in Peru and Ecuador and kind of worked their way up to Western Mexico. So from about the 12th century to at least into the 1500s when the Spanish were, uh, you know, taking over control of Mexico, these were used as currency. So at least one Spanish conquistador wrote back and gave like an explanation that these were used as currency and that they traded for 8,000 cacao seeds. Um, and then he gave a, uh, exchange rate to the Spanish real. Um, so that's kind of all we know about them. They don't seem to have a set weight. Um, of my three examples, the, uh, or one on the left and the middle one are pretty heavy. And then the one on the right is super thin and light. And uh, I've even seen them very, very small, small enough to fit into a standard uh, coin two by two. So it seems that it was just the, the shape and that it was made out of copper was all that it was really required for it to be worth something. Um, but they could have, have had other uses, ceremonial uses, and so on that we just don't understand because the Spanish didn't bother to uh, to write that kind of stuff down for us. Um, but they are interesting. I mean, and they're, it's, you know, uh, kind of, you know, everyone agrees that they were used as currency of some kind. So that, you know, puts them right up here with uh, other coins and so on. You know, I think it, they're kind of like the, uh, the early Chinese, you know, spade and uh, knife money, you know, they, they were still made to like resemble useful tools, but they had lost their usefulness. You know, at this point they were just, they symbolized those things in a form that was, you know, metal. Um, so yeah, I think that they're pretty interesting. So I, I got these examples just to have in my collection, put them in this nice case. Um, so I wonder if you have any knowledge of, uh, of Aztec home money, go ahead and post it below. Or if you just want to discuss it a little more, I think that they're kind of fascinating. Wish we knew more, but you know, when it comes to a lot of things that are pre-Columbian, we just don't have a lot of information. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.